Good evening, my name is David Ferris and welcome to this week's edition of the Chamber Buzz. Our special guest tonight is Michelle Williams, owner of Head to Toe Salon and Spa. The Weekly Buzz is proudly presented by Roger G. Taylor and Associates. And let's look around the area and see what's going on this week. Thank you, David. One of the most important things that we do at Wesleyan is work on our collaboration with the city of Rocky Mount. Uh, we were born back in 1956 from the community leaders of this wonderful city and the United Methodist Church came together to form Wesleyan and we have never forgotten that. And we're grateful to the city and particularly to David and to Charles and Kelvin and Ann and all of you who, who worked on this uh, return of the battling bishops to, this, to these grounds. We are excited about it. Um, I never quite understood why we weren't playing here to begin with, but now we're back home and the field is beautiful and the uh, facilities are going to be just great. Our ultimate goal is to get uh, two, two things going. One is really get our students engaged in Wesleyan football. Uh, playing out at Northern Nash, uh, even if we had a bus, it was really difficult to get many students to come out there. But we are very close now, as you know. And we're going to do uh, tailgates for students, buses for students, and really try to get them into this uh, football here at, at Rocky Mount Stadium. The other thing we want to do is engage our alumni. Uh, we probably have a thousand alumni from both our traditional and Aspire program um, in this region. And uh, I would say probably you could count on one hand how many of them actually in the last few years drove out to Northern Nash to see us play football. So we're going to try really hard to get uh, get those alumni back, particularly at the opening game, the, uh, September 14th, and then homecoming October 5th. And uh, the board's excited about it. I did want to introduce chairman of our athletics committee, uh, Lloyd Nelson, who is here. Raise your hand, Lloyd. We got support of the board. They're going to turn out, and we're going to get the students. But then the ultimate goal is this: we want. Rocky Mount's football team to be the battling bishops. When people who like college football in this town think of football, they can't go to Chapel Hill or go to State or go to East Carolina every Saturday. We want them to come here and really get behind our team. It's going to take a few years, and we're going to have to promote it really well and give them a good experience. But when they come and they see the quality of play of the battling bishops, you see those 100 young men run out of here in those blue and gold uniforms, uh, they're going to be impressed. Um, the quality of play and the spirit is wonderful. We just don't have too many people who are 6'5", you know, 238, running the ball. Right, Coach? Uh, we just don't have them now. How about that? We will have them. So a little bit smaller, but uh, play just as hard, and they're good sports, and we're excited to be here. We're excited to have a new coach, and I thank uh, John and the coach and the people with the city for putting this together. Thank you for inviting us to come here. It is a continuation of a partnership with the city that we value uh, very highly. Thanks, Coach. And first and foremost, I'd like to thank President Gray and Coach Thompson for having the faith in me to lead this program forward into the future. Uh, certainly, they are very supportive with football. Obviously, we have a big, big to do today. Um, so it's showing that the support from the administration is ginormous and important here. It's kind of refreshing from some of the past places I've been. Also, I want to thank Ricky Rich and the SID, our SID and Miss Martha Proctor, uh, our administrative assistant. Certainly, as we as I transition down here, uh, they've been nothing short of amazing to me and my family, and I appreciate that. Uh, moving forward to this big day, uh, Mayor Combs, 
city of Rocky Mount, this is a big deal. This is a big deal to North Carolina Wesleyan football. Big deal to two things, two areas I think that any coach would talk about is the wow factor in recruiting. And we don't have a home. And our home now is, is here. We'll have the logo painted out there in the middle of the field. Our guys will be excited about that. But also the wow factor in recruiting. Nobody can use anything against us with this being our home. Pulling in here, we'll have the flags on the, on the posts. Uh, hopefully a banner underneath the scoreboard saying North Carolina Wesleyan football. And that is the big two to-dos. I want to take care of recruiting and certainly take care of those 120 football players. And they're excited. We're excited. My staff is excited. Uh, certainly it's no knock on Northern Nash or anybody that plays at a high school facility, but that's their home. And we are excited to call this our home. And certainly, as everybody said, Rocky Mountain's football team. And uh, not pleased is that we wanted to give you a, a football, Mr. Mayor. Get up and I would hike it to you, but I'd probably embarrass there myself. You go. <laughs> but I want to give you a football. Let's you can turn it around office. so they can. That really yeah. wouldn't look too there good. You go. there you go. Welcome back, and thank you again for joining us this evening, Michelle. A subject that I think I'm going to really enjoy talking about today: head to toe, your your salon and spa. Um, now, most people enjoy a nice massage. Now guys, I guess some get pedicures, some don't. I've never had it, but I do love a good massage. Tell me how you first got interested in it. Uh, well, David, in the beauty industry, you know, it changes frequently, but um, I, I've always loved doing hair. And I've had several clients, friends, they're like, why don't you just start your own business? So it just so happened in November of 2012, um, I bought a salon from Barbara Hyde and everything just fell into place. It's a beautiful location. The atmosphere is wonderful. We offer um, hair care, nails, pedicures, massage. We have a wonderful new product out. It's a spray tan mm -hmm. that we went to Orlando and we um, got a lot of education about. It's really taken off. But uh, a lot of people enjoy just coming in and spending the day with us. That would be a fun thing, I think, to do. And I love the name From Head to Toe Salon and Spa because that, you literally cover it from one end to the other. Right. That's, that, that's pretty cool. Um, where... Where's your location? We are uh, 856 Country Club Road, right across the street from Pizza Inn in um, Rocky Mount. Um, That's a great location. It, it's a wonderful yeah, and every, location. You know, if somebody calls and doesn't know, everybody knows where the Pizza Inn is. Right. So, you know, have, that's a good um, landmark for you. Well, we have a lot of people coming <clears throat> over from Jersey Mike's, Pizza mm -hmm. Inn. They just walk in and they you know, want to have a service done. or. You know, because it was an established business before, you know, we we still have a lot of people that come that knew European skincare years right. ago. Right. And they felt comfortable in that building, so they just come back. How many people do you have with you? We wise? have um, eight people. We have four stylists, a masseuse, a nail tech, and um, we have a full-time receptionist. Um, and we have a uh, skin care. The, the training or the educational component on hairstyling, um, I know that's, you know, a lot of people look at it and think, well, that can't be too hard. But when I was a little boy, my dad decided, I was probably seven or eight years old, he decided he was going to cut our hair. So he went to Sears, and we're talking about decades ago, and he bought a haircutting thing. and against my mother's wishes and he proceeded to cut my hair and my brother's hair and it looked like the proverbial bowl. Mom promptly took everything, threw it in the trash can, took us to the barber shop the next day and got it straightened out. How, how much training is involved in that so you don't do what my dad did? <laughs> well, it is, like I said, it, it changes frequently and you really have to stay up on your education, going to different hair shows and um, 
just it's a, it's a technique in cutting hair. A lot of people don't realize that. They're like, oh, I cut my hair at home or I color my hair at home. And that's when they make the mistake because after time, you know, you're going to pay someone to fix your right. mistake. <laughs> right, as my mother did. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, about your masseuse, what, what is her background? Um, well, her name is Dixie Tippett, and um, she actually has won an award in Rocky Mount two, three years running for um, top masseuse. Did she have one in Nashville one time? She still does have okay. a, a business Okay, I in thought Nashville. that name good. Yeah, she has a great reputation. She does. She has a, she's a wonderful masseuse. She's um, very uh, artistic about mm -hmm. it, the way, you know, and it, a lot of people like her a lot. What are the, the, I know some of them are, are 15 minutes to up to an hour, or what, what well, do you get when you? Actually, um, most people get a benefit out of an hour-long massage. It's a European massage. And um, then they have deep tissue massage, or, but usually a deep tissue would be like for really sore muscles, mm -hmm. or um, if you have a lot of stress, tension going on, it helps to get some of that she, out worked on me one time in Nashville and she I think she did that because she would feel like she was pushing air out of your muscles and she would say you need to drink a lot of fluids afterwards and lots of water yeah lots of water because if um, you don't the muscles are, are a lot sore. yeah she's getting all the mm -hmm. bad stuff out of them I guess yes yeah, she it was. is but she was, so she was good. That's good well if if somebody wanted to give somebody a gift if I wanted to give my wife a a day at the spa, what would what would a guy do? You would just come in or, um, you know, call Stephen, our uh, manager, and we have gift certificates available, or you can just set it up, set up her time when you would like for her to come in, and she could start out with um, a facial, then she could get a massage, then she could get a manicure, pedicure. I always finish with the hair last because you don't want to mess that up before. No, you I wouldn't want to mess my hair up. <laughs> <laughs> so you always stop, stop. Well, I wouldn't hair. have thought of that. I guess that would make sense that you would you would do your hair less. Yeah, we try to set it up the, that way, kind of to back it in and, right. and so forth. What? Um, how long have you been doing this? I have been in this business for 23 years, and I love it. I mean, I, I have um, a lot of great followers clients and um, like I said every day is a different day I don't do the same thing every day it's always a different experience um, our team at head to toe we enjoy going in and just spending time with each other and hearing about each other's weekend or the night before and um, just our whole atmosphere is wonderful to be around we well, offer coffee water some wine, so. Well, that's, that's nice. How, have, were, were most of them there when you, when you bought the company? No, most of your associates? actually I went in there completely alone. And then, you know, I had uh, some people call and after spending day and night in there and painting and doing all the renovations myself. My husband helped. We did uh, new floors, new painting, uh, new light fixtures. And, and when people walk in, they're like, wow, Michelle, this is beautiful. And it is somewhere that I go in and I'm like, I could just stay here. That's, that's got to be a great, great feeling. So when you opened it up, it was a new, no New pun intended, head to toe all over. Exactly. It was a lot of work. Well, I, I know you felt good about it when you could finally take a deep breath and get, get things lined up and get it like you wanted. When we come back, let's, let's talk a little bit more about some of the services that you provide. And let's talk about what Michelle does when she's not in the salon. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll be right back after these few words from our sponsor. Welcome back, and again, our special guest this evening is Michelle Williams, owner of Head to Toe Salon and Spa. Michelle, um, when you're not in your salon, 
tell me what Michelle likes to do. What are some of your, your hobbies? You like to travel? Do you like to work out? Garden? Sit at home and read a magazine? Well, no, David. I am not. I cannot be still. I do not sit. Um, I love running. I love working out, spending time with my friends. And uh, my husband and I go to the beach a lot. He has a deep sea charter fishing business. Oh, wow. So while he's out fishing, I'm running on the beach somewhere or trying to relax a little on the beach. Good. Walking Good. On the beach. And you like to run. Have you ever done a marathon? I did a marathon, yes, last year in um, Raleigh, Tobacco Good Road. for you. Did that. But I might as well see you doing their Krispy Kreme. No, <laughs> no Krispy Kreme marathon. <laughs> That's weird. Well, going, going back to, um, going back to your, your salon and spa, I didn't realize Rocky Mount had something that complete. Um, you know, from a, from a male standpoint, I'm not real tuned into it. So this is this is fun. Do you have many many guys as clients in there? It's funny you ask that, David. We have a growing business in men clientele. For years and years they went to a barber, you know, and it's not barbers, you know, are, it's right. a good business, but um, it's not really um, you kind of get the same haircut, you know, it's real short. <laughs> and <laughs> If you want a stylish cut, you know, for a man, um, yeah, we have a huge male clientele. Good. What about on the, the massage and what, what are guys getting when they go in now? Well, um, most of the time guys will get massages and actually the uh, skincare business for men is growing. We have a lot of men that come in, they get um, facials, microdermabrasion. Now what is that? Uh, facials, they range in, um, like you get a mask, a cleanse, any extractions that need to be done. Um, then the microdermabrasion is like a resurfacing of the skin. It's just a little wand that goes over the face and it helps with sun damage, aging, takes away fine lines, wrinkles. And then, um, also, um, there's a lot of a big business in body waxing. You know, people want their eyebrows done or a back wax or their legs, you know, so they don't have to keep up with maintenance so much. You know, that sounds awfully relaxing. I'm ready to leave here and let's go. Go right over there. <laughs> I'm game, but the facial part sounds so... I love a good massage. I yes. love a massage. I love a but massage. But I've never, never had anything like a facial other than when they're massaging it. But that, that, sounds, that sounds really... Well, actually, Sharon, when Sharon does your facial, she massages your chest and your back, you know, and kind of your hands sometimes. But she, she's not a masseuse. She just strictly sticks with skin care, making you beautiful. So, <laughs> good luck with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, the, the ladies in our audience can also get a gift certificate for the special guy in their life. Oh, definitely. And there's a lot of men that like that pampering. You know, my husband never was on to massage until a couple of years ago. Dixie, a right. friend, she gave uh, my husband a massage, and oh, it was just the one, and he was hooked. Oh, I love them. When we, when we travel, um, if they have a spa center there, generally, you know, I try and get in there at least once. It, right. it, is, it is heaven on earth. Anyone who hadn't tried it and just think, I can't. You know, I'm not, I don't know that I'm going to be comfortable with somebody else touching my body like that. It is therapeutic beyond belief. It is. It, it is. You, you quickly lose that discomfort, don't you? Yes. <laughs> you just kind of drift away. Sometimes you're asleep. I, I remember a client saying uh, she was getting her massage, and right at the end of it, she woke up because you, uh, the end of your massage, you're on your stomach laying mm -hmm. face down. And there's a hole in the table, and she said when she woke up, there was this huge bottle of drool coming out. Of her. <laughs> she was so relaxed, you know, and so which that's what we want. We want people to be relaxed. We want them, you know, coming whenever mm -hmm. frequent. And so. and women generally, do you have many of them that that make a full day or full afternoon in there? For um, generally more so women than men. Most of the time a man is going to come in for 
you know, one service right. and then go. And but a lot of women like to come in and be pampered and relax. Mm -hmm. Especially, you know, my sister just had a birthday and her husband bought her a gift certificate. And she's looking forward to it, you know, having the day off work. She can come in and spend, spend time. You know, one thing I, I, I've heard about over the years, it seems like just in the last few minutes that we've got left, is um, a bridal party. You know, that the bride and her bridesmaids um, go do sort of a, a spa day. Yes. I would think that would be a fun thing for, for, for young women to do. Yes, we yeah. did that recently on a Saturday. The whole, you know, bridal party came in, females, and they had their hair done, and they put their makeup on, and, you know, they had a great time. Sure did. I would, yeah, I would think that. I would think it'd be fun on your side of the table as, table as well to, to be part of something like that. And that got to be a lot of energy in that room when that's going on. <laughs> right, it is. It's a lot of energy. Well, in the, in the time we have remaining, is there anything in particular that you'd like to like to talk about? Um, just that I hope, you know, people who have not <clears throat> been in to head to toe just stop by and take a look around, meet our staff, and um, <clears throat> just, you know. Uh. <laughs> well, I think it's wonderful. This is a, you're another great local story where um, you're not part of a franchise. It's a, um, it's a local entrepreneur who's, who's doing a good job. And I think, I think our Twin County area can, can, uh, can take a lot of pride in that and hopefully continue to support you. Yeah, I just want uh, the you know, people in this business to know that there is a great business you know, in um, mm -hmm. salons and spas. They don't have to go to Raleigh. Right, right. You don't have to go to Raleigh, and you don't, you know, have to spend a great deal of time looking for a stylist who's right, right here in Rocky Mount. Well, you can either spend 45 minutes going and 45 minutes coming, which is an hour and a half in a car, or get an extra hour and a half of pampering. Exactly. There's the good right I think way that's to look what I at it. <laughs> Michelle, thank you so much for joining us this evening, and and we wish you all the continued success and. I probably need to talk to you about setting an appointment up. Okay, <laughs> Dave, <massage>. you come. <laughs> but thank you, and thank you all for joining us tonight, and have a good evening.